dear students good morning everybody welcome to the class and in the last video we just introduced the definition of a common tangent i mean if a tangent is a tangent of one circle is also a tangent of another circle then finally which is con considered as a common tangent so look at that definition of common tangent see a line is a tangent of two or more circles a line is a tangent of two or more circles then that line is called a common tangent called a common tangent okay look at ma if a line is a tangent of two or more circles see for example look at this situation in this situation see l is a line which is the tangent of two or more circles isn't it which is the tangent of circle 1 circle 2 even circle 3 then that particular line l is called common tangent okay and coming to types of common tangents types of common tangents so common tangents are two types common tangents are two types one is direct common tangent and the second one is indirect common tangent do you understood so common tangents are two types they are direct common tangent and indirect common tangent so first of all look at the definition of direct common tangent okay see so if circles are circles are on the same side of if the circles are on the same side of common tangent same side of common tangent then the tangent is if the circles are on the same side of common tangent then the tangent is a direct common tangent understood so for example basically this is the tangent suppose see that this is the position of a circle 1 as well as circle 2 
Now it is a common tangent and moreover it is also considered as a direct common tangent. Why? Because the two circles are on the same side of the common tangent. Even can draw like this also. Let it be the position of circle 1. Tangent no, it should touch. It should touch at only one point. Yes, these are the two circles. Okay. And moreover, this is a common tangent, basically common tangent. Common tangent. Uh, even here, if you observe, the two circles are on the same side. Same side. Same side of common tangent. Hence, this tangent is considered as a direct common tangent. Considered as a direct common tangent. Next. Second one. Second type which is indirect common tangents. Indirect common tangent. Second one. So very simple. Earlier two circles are on the same side. Two circles are on the same side of a tangent. Now, if circles are, if circles are on the either side or opposite, opposite side also you can consider, either side of a tangent, then the tangent is called indirect common tangent. Come on. Indirect common tangent are also called as a Transversal common tangents. Another name for indirect common tangent is transversal common tangent. So, this is the situation now. Circle 1, and let it be the circle 2. So look at now here, basically a common tangent because it is the tangent of two circles and moreover here the two circles are on the either side, one lies in one side, other one lies in the other side, that's what the circle's position is, opposite side to this tangent, hence this particular tangent is considered as a transversal common tangent or a indirect common tangent also. Understood? So common tangents are two types. So direct common tangent, indirect common tangent. Direct common tangent means two circles must lie on the same side of the common tangent. Whereas indirect common tangent means the circles lies on the opposite side of the common tangents. Okay. Now, the next concept is regarding according to the relative position of two circles the number of tangents can be drawn. So, how many tangents we can draw when two circles are given to us? 
say position number one i mean number of common tangents look at this concept now position number one two circles lie away from each other that means the condition is what condition is d is equals to sorry d is greater than r1 plus r2 okay and first column is regarding number of common tangents and in that uh, how many direct common tangents and how many transversal common tangents this is what we are going to learn now so look at this first position two circles lies away from each other then the condition is d is greater than r1 plus r2 so you know in this situation we can draw total number of common tangents are four four tangents we can draw so this is one of the tangent this is one more tangent and this is the third one and similarly this is the fourth one so in this way when two circles are away from each other we can draw four common tangents in that direct common tangents are two and transversal common tangents are also two next coming to position number two if two circles touch each other externally if two circles touch each other externally and what is the condition here do you remember d is equals to r1 plus r2 and can you guess number of common tangents can you guess ma how many common tangents can we draw in this situation that is when two circles are touch each other externally yes number of common tangents are three you know what are they this is one of the common tangent this is one more and you know these two are direct common tangents and this is the third common tangent which is transversal so out of three two are direct common tangent and one is a indirect common tangent now position number three when the two circles touch each other internally like this when they touch each other internally the condition is d is equals to modulus of r1 minus r2 okay ma so can you guess how many common tangents we can draw here only one like this and you know for this common tangent both the circles are on the same side same side means direct common tangent this is nothing but a direct common tangent and uh, we cannot draw any transversal common tangent in this position now position number 4 intersecting two circles are intersecting each other and the condition is d lies between modulus of r1 minus r2 and r1 plus r2 and you know number of common tangents can be drawn two common tangents
can draw two common tangents in this way. And these two are uh, direct common tangents only. So once again, no transversal common tangent. And finally, position number five, one circle lies completely inside the other. Condition is D less than R1 minus R2 modulus of. And I think no common tangent. So common tangents are zero. So these two, these two also zero only. Understood ma? So in this way, when we know the relative position between two, two circles, then we can easily find out the number of common tangents. Number of common tangents. And next is about uh, centers of uh, similitude. Centers of Similitude. So these are two types. One is internal center of similitude. Internal center of similitude. So very simple. See, this is, if it is the position of two circles, let it be the indirect common tangent and this is another indirect common tangent or nothing but transversal common tangents. So you know what is this internal center of similitude? Very simple definition, the point of intersection of point of intersection of transversal common tangents is called is called ICS internal center of similitude can also denote with I1 so this is I1 is the point of intersection of transversal common tangents and you know here the line joining of c1 c2 will be passes through this internal center of similitude i mean c1 c2 and internal center of similitude are collinear and also my dear please note that ics internal center of similitude divides the line joining of C1, C2 into the ratio into the ratio R1 is to R2 internally. Okay. Internal center of similitude divides the line joining of C1, C2 into the ratio R1 is to R2 internally and second one is external center of similitude so this definition also very simple the point of intersection of direct common tangents direct common tangents earlier 
transversal common tangents no? now direct common tangents is called external center of similitude shortly ECS and it is denoted with uh, I2 and this is the uh, position no? so one of the direct common tangent and this is one more direct common tangent okay so both these direct common tangents are intersecting at a point that's what uh, point of intersection of direct common tangents is called external center of similitude which is denoted by I2 and you know my dear even here also the line joining of C1 C2 lies on the or passes through the ECS the line joining of centers of the circle is passes through the external center of similitude I mean C1 C2 and I2 are collinear C1 C2 and I2 they are lies on the same line no? so they are collinear whereas here C1 C2 and I1 are also collinear and one more important point that is external center of similitude divides the line joining of C1 C2 in the ratio in the ratio R1 is to R2 externally whereas uh, ICS is dividing in the same ratio both cases ratio is same R1 is to R2 but since here I1 lies inside of C1 C2 it divides internally whereas I2 I mean external center of similitude which lies out of this C1 C2 no so that's why which divides externally but both ICS and ECS dividing the line segment C1 C2 in the same ratio R1 is to R2 but one divides internally and the other divides externally that to ICS divides internally whereas ECS divides externally and these proofs are clearly explained in your material ma? can go through the proofs And please note that the formula to find the length of the direct common tangent, length of direct common tangent. Is I mean can be calculated using the formula square root of d square minus r1 minus r2 whole square and also length of transversal common tangent or indirect is calculated by the formula root of d square minus r1 plus 
R to whole square. Okay, so length of the direct common tangent can be find out by using the formula square root of d square minus r1 minus r2 whole square. Whereas the length of the transversal common tangent can be found find out can be found by using the formula square root of d square minus r1 plus r2 whole square. Okay. Hope you are all understood the concepts what we have discussed in this class. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.